start it up again. All right, there we go. Let's go visit Mintos for a sec. No, that's not the guy I'm looking for. Shit. PC around here. On the southeastern side of Sirak Continent is the lies of tiny empire Parthenia. Sirak Continent. Well, which one is Sirak Continent? Is that what I'm on now? Okay, blue version, the Barracudas, alright. Yeah, my damage went up a lot there. Wait a sec. Just answering a message. Okay. I think Sir Our Continent is the one that I'm on right now. Well, beside. Oops. So we're gonna sail our ship down and around and... Hopefully we don't run into monsters that we can't kill again. There's a cave. A Tuscateer! There's a castle. Let's check this out. It is on the southeast side of a continent. Might be what we're looking for. Oink, oink. Let's save here, just in case I run into a bad situation again. I successfully recorded. Do I intend to continue? Why, yes I do! Alright. Welcome to the mighty empire of Parthenia! Home of the miraculous fever fuel plant, the finest panacea, no demand. Of course, our material wealth is waning somewhat now, but we still have a rich tradition and strong pride to uphold. Who are you looking for, did you say? Well, there was a young princess here by the name of Alina. Was she alone? Oh no, there was at least three men with her. I seem to recall a knight, a traitor, and a rather tough-looking fellow, too. Look, Marmaduke! You can see our faces in the pond! Welcome, strangers! I am Claudius, Emperor of Parthenia. Though times have been hard since we lost our fever fruit crop, my predecessor, Emperor Crescentius, secreted away some of the precious fever few seeds in the Imperial Pantry south of here. The monsters have taken up presence in the land, the pantry is all but inaccessible. My empire is crippled! So I must apologize, madame. If only I had a few, some fever few seeds, I would gladly grant your wish. Yeah, Max HP MP. Ah, you arrived here from Mintos, did you say? Yeah, my daughter moved there when she was married, you know? I have a couple of delightful grandchildren there now, too. I wonder how they are. I've been plowing these fields for more than 30 years, I have. What? Fever of you? No, there's none left now. The whole crop was wiped out in the drought five years ago. I'm into carrots and marrows. That's the future now, madame. Nope, alright. No answer. It's just a scarecrow. That's a very realistic looking scarecrow. Welcome to the Imperial Palace. You may enter at will. I like how one of their guards is a cow. 
You are in the, in the Imperial Throne Room. His Imperial Highness is a jolly decent gent, but even all his hard work isn't enough to reunite us with our former prosperity, not since we lost the fever for your crop. It's a dreadful shame for everyone, including the Emperor. Are you here for an audience with the Emperor? His Imperial Highness is presently occupied in the, uh, fields. I'm sorry to say that Emperor is in such a dire situation that even the Emperor must work like a commoner. This is a very odd empire. Oh well. Let's experience the nightlife a bit, shall we? Wake up, Mama Duke. Wake. Oink, oink. Ah, okay, so you don't say anything different. Okay, you don't say anything different. Alright. Uh, uh huh. I'm just happy to have a roof over my head these days. <laughs> Curse you, you monsters! Get out of the pantry! A few. A fever few. His Imperial Ball. Oh, okay, well, whatever. You guys don't say anything different at night. It's kind of lame. Also, you got people sleeping in the Imperial Throne Room. Oh, yes, night fishing's the only way. I nearly hooked a devil fish the other day, you know? It was huge. No, really, I did! So I'm guessing the pantry is this area down here. Let's go pay a visit. Alright. So this is the cave to is to where to So this is cave where is to be found these fever few seed. That door, it is locked very well. Hiya! Can't she do that later? Door is no longer locked. We can go. I thought Miss Alina had the thieves' key. I suppose she just really wanted to kick it down, eh? Oh well, the result's the same, I suppose. On we go. Uh, containment pay P one T six extreme guide. Yeah, seven long running video game series we wish would last forever. PlayStation. Night. Yeah, I like that. Oh, moving platforms. Excellent. Ah, seat of agility. Mirror's agility increases by one. Vampire Battlers. So if you notice, Taloon can choose to do like a confused Pokemon and uh, completely ignore you. If he does that, um, you probably don't need to worry too much about it, but uh, he will make the enemy laugh, trip them, just do various things to... Uh, to uh, interrupt enemy movements and do weird things. I mind you also searching for this this fever few seed, but fever few seed will be mine. Up ahead is Serevna and Lena. She's traveling with us at the moment. We saved her. Well, she saved us, truth be told. Then we all came here together. We're on a journey to prevent the Lord of the Underworld from destroying the world. Fancy seeing you here. You remember me, don't you? We met back at Castle Bronco Castle. Sorry we couldn't let you join us back then. We, there were too many people in the group, it was. Some wizards appear. Do I know if... I don't know. Hmm. 
Fuck you and your wish spell. Okay, they're not affected by that. They're not affected by that, that doesn't make any sense. 10 EXP. Right, what's over here? It's a very large cave. Some Powy Yowies appear. At least I hit two of them. They're all still alive. Joy. That one's dead though. See, so he'll do stuff like that. Like, he just, uh. spun his fingers around and made the Yeti's, uh, eyes spin. Whatever that does. Miro's level increases to 16, HP increases by 8, MP by 6. Three strength, two agility, one resilience, two wisdom, three luck. And I learned Kasnooze. Oh, there's somebody else leveled. Is it Tornica? No, Maya. HP increases by six. MP by ten. One strength, three agility, one resilience, five wisdom, four luck, and the spell Frizzle. Is that a bigger fireball? She needs some good single target spells, so... That'll drop me down a hole if I go on that. Hey, a seed of life. Max HP increases by six points. Ooh, that's not bad. Infernal armor and two. Actually. Let's try Frizzle out. Oh, okay. Well, so much for that. Seventy-one damage. Why is Alina walking around? Well, um, we don't have her in our chapter yet, so. That's uh, what she's doing uh, that for. Ah, power yoes. Critical hit, there we go. Right now my mirror is very powerful. Ooh, Orb of Serenity. That could be good. Uh, that'll be good for Maya. Less than good for Mina. And good for Taloon. Maya get the best use out of it though. Spin the cave here. That's interesting. A power yowie. Oh. See you later. And hello, Toon Long. Make sure you don't get any spoilers, my friend. I don't want to ruin this for you. Vampire Battlers up here. Twenty-eight 
Tornico's level goes up to 15. HP increases by 7. 3 strength, 2 agility, 1 resilience, one, 2 wisdom, 1 luck. Alright, actually, you know what? There doesn't appear any more temperature on this level. Okay. Guess we're dropping. So I gotta figure out. Okay, I think I see what I need to do. Wait, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Okay, I got it. I got it! Damn, I was actually going to. Cottery sword there, but whatever. As you've seen, Taloon just yelled in fear and stunned the, or yelled uh, really loud and scared the the power yaoi. Infernal armor and some salamanders. I didn't think that would work. Salamanders seem like fire. Did it just run away? Man, I love the dragon armor. Okay. We're gonna ride the uh, whales. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna step on the left one. There we go. Alright, now to figure this out. That's gonna deposit me down there. That's gonna deposit me up there. Once again, deposit me up there. Once again, once again, once again. Alright, I think. No, that's not the one I wanted to step on. This is the one. Alright, that's gonna take me back, that'll take me... Okay, that also take me back to there. Alright, well you get to die first, so congrats on being that. Tonico just did a weird dance that drained the enemy's MP. This can be tricky. Now you just gotta look at where they go. Okay. Ah, it's actually a can of box. Hopefully these aren't as much assholes as they were in number three. It's dead. I win. Get fucked, can of box. Alright, so if I step on that one, it'll lead me up. And around back to where I was. That's not where I want to go. That's gonna take me right back to the beginning. Okay. Damn it. That's gonna take me down and around. I don't wanna go there. That's gonna take me. This one here is the one I want, I'm pretty sure. Aha! I did it. I'm the best. A fever few seed! We did it! Mushroom mages! I 
These guys are not gonna live through this round. Told ya. Thrashed. Mushroom mages again. Right, let's see if we can repeat that. Ah, D seems to have avoided damage. At that time, though. Ah, oh, D avoided damage again. And they all died again. That's true. Alright, well. I am here. Chapter 5. Oh, they're not walking around anymore. Guess they gave up. Yeah, that cave wasn't so bad. There we go, we'll save our game. I don't think I have a single character over level 20 yet. Let's see how much EXP we need to our next level, so... Miro, you need 3,000. Okay, cool. Maya, you need 4,654. Okay. Mina, you need 3,000. Alright. Tornico, you need 1,200. Boria, you need 3,307. Alright, let's head out. Let's talk to the king. G g goodness goddess! Fever few seeds at last! Quickly now, you must sow them in the soil here. They shan't take long to grow. <laughs> Man, that grew fast. He was not kidding. Fever Fee, she's kept popping up all over the place as everyone looks on in disbelief. Thank you, my lady. You have saved the empire. I should like you to take a few fever root, few root with you as a trophy this most auspicious occasion. Defeated. I am the best. What's this guy doing? I've already been left in charge here, you know. There ain't no stopping me now. You'll have a safe trip now, you hear? And he has moved up in the world. I don't believe! You people, you have favor fever 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 I went to place, but I could find nothing. I abandoned my hopes, but now I am so much happy. Hurry, you must give fever fever to Kiro. Miro mashes up the fever fever and feeds it to Kiro. The color comes back to Kiro's cheeks almost instantaneously, and he suddenly recovers. Sarevna Alina, you are here! Thanks to the goddess, you are awakened again! I am so very much ashamed. My duty it was for protecting you, but... Never mind any more, Kiro. We must co to continue our voyage and locate Sarah the Manslayer. What are you saying? Oh! You are also searching this Sarah the Manslayer? It appears the village Miro is living in previously suffered attack by the Sarah. Perhaps it would be wise if... I have idea! We must travel together! 
The more people we are, the merrier we are. Ah, uh, now I actually have to pick who I want to use. Because... See, here's the thing. Your new team members and possessions are placed in the bag. Alina, Ragnar, and Tonico are all, you know, ta attacker types. And Tornico's not as strong as Ragnar or as fast and crit heavy as Alina. But he does tricky things to piss off the uh, part, uh, the enemies, which, is, which can be very helpful. Um, but he doesn't hit as hard. Wait a minute! I know I shouldn't have been listening in, but I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. It sounds like we have a heroine who will save the world among us. The great Miro! The chap who was staying here before, Ragnar McRyan, said some, something about how he was looking for a heroine. If my memory serves me correctly, he was headed to the west, to... He was off to the Palais de Lyon, way over in Libesio, Le, to the west. Um... And Ragnar, he is just a raw physical attacker with fairly high defense. So I'm gonna pick between those three, but I'm not sure who I want to use. Maybe I'll just roll a dice and figure it out. Uh, Mina and Kirill are both healers that can have a fairly decent uh, equip, equip uh, equipment selection. And Maya and Buya are both uh, attackers or uh, ma ma mages. That's not better for Kirill. I don't have any better weapons for them here. Alright. Full plate armor, can't equip. Okay, that's not better for anyone, but actually, that's better for me now. I don't know why I don't have that equipped on her. Golden Tiara would be better for Alina, and that's it. And an iron helmet would be better for Kirill. So let's get ourselves an iron helmet for Kirill. There we go. Now we'll get ourselves an iron shield for Mina. And a golden tear for Alina. Yeah. Uh, they kind of even doubt their healing. Uh, Mina is actually an excellent healer in this now. But yes, uh, that's a good point. Buria casts ice spells and uh, Maya casts fire spells. I guess I should sell. Hardwood headwear. Feathered cap. Oh, well, I'll wait until I get Ragnar. Okay, um... I'll keep with this team for now, and then I'll decide after uh, who I'm going to use once I get Ragnar. Actually. You don't have anything I want, alright. You have a Seed of Resilience that I want. We'll use that on Mira. Alright, so you guys have given me four Seeds of Agility, all of which will be used on Mira. That's three Agility so far. Four Agility. Five Agility, not bad. Seeds of increases by five. Max MP increases by five. There we go. And they gave us the Thieves' Key! Alright, so if you remember, the Palais de Lyon is over here, actually. Let's check out what this is in the center, though. Might as well fill it out on the map. This is an island surrounded by shoals. And it has a poison pool on it, and that's about it. A devil fish! Okay, he strikes first. He gets a double attack, interesting.
Um, yeah, maybe. I'm aware Alina is good. Alright, well, we just got a new character, so yeah, okay. We'll play around with Buria, Kirill, and Alina for here. For this part. Let's go up to the port first. Let's save there just in case things go bad. Buffalo wings? These weren't here last time I was here. died really easily. So much for that. Alright, what do we got going on here? This is the port of Hyver Leveon. Ships sail from ESL to Endor in the north. But the ship that left a while ago was the last one. There will be no more. Just look at Susie. She'd be wasted on my brother. I've already told her she shouldn't waste her time on him. Hi, I'm Susie. Come dance with me. Oi, what's take us along? Where's my drink? The Marquis Regent Balzac is even more of a recluse than before now. Thank heaven! At least my, now my compatriots and me can have a few drinks sometime, Ick. Oh, I am rushed off the feet. Look how they are all drinking! It's one order after another! Come in, come in! Drink, dance, drink, sing, drink, and be merry! That's the spirit! You know the end attorney? I heard it was a princess of all people who won it, you know. And there's more! When the princess went home after the competition, she found out the castle she lived in was totally empty. It's a funny little world, isn't it? I don't suppose these guys have any better gear to sell. I assume not. I also don't think these people are going to say anything different. Save the game, all right. Yep, I'm aware I go to Basilisk Castle next. So, yeah, uh, viewers, um, I actually ordered uh, a copy of Dragon Quest V from Amazon yesterday uh, because I cannot find any of them locally. So hopefully it'll be in uh, before I get the next uh, game. It said it'll be here next week, so... How true that is, your guess is as good as mine. Any new equipment here? Are you still selling the lazy same we said? What? The magic key is there? No, I've never come across anything like that. For sale in my shop, haha! <laughs> but it exists, I'm sure, I'm sure of that. In fact, I heard Alchemist had perfected the recipe for making keys. Where did I hear that again? Oh yes, that's right. There used to be an alchemist in a little village out there. It's called Abu Dhamon now, I think. Oh. We don't have anybody to pick the lock in the, uh... Palais de Lyon, so we gotta get a magic key. See? Come up here and... This is the Great Palais de Lyon! We have just caught a wandering knight trying to sneak inside the castle. The Marquis is going to interrogate him personally. Once the Marquis has sealed his fate, there is nothing anyone can do. It will not be long for this life now. Only the right key will open it, because remember Ujam used to be able to pick locks. Hello, my name's Healy. I'm a glob traveler, you see too. Can't you do something for my friend Ragnar? They've taken him inside the castle. If only I had that magic key, I could squeeze my way inside and save him. Yes, an old goo friend of mine told me about the magic key. She lives underground in Ubo de Mont. Hey, interesting about that. Uh, Healy was that heel slime that helped out uh, Ragnar in the first chapter. Now he actually became a human. He got his dream. A Pocus Puppet. See you later, Pocus Puppet. You ain't got nothing. Welcome to Boudemont. I don't know what that name means, but it sounds great.
I'm a child of a salesman. I was at the Desert Bazaar in Maestral until recently, but that's finished now. So I'm on my self to laissez faire. Anyway, seeing as we're having this little chat, perhaps we can do some impromptu business. Welcome to the weapon shop. What can I do for you? What do you need? Alright, so we can get a cautery sword. Not really interested in that. Battle axe. Full plate armor. Ah, cloak of evasion. I am interested in three of those, but I cannot afford three of those. So I guess for now we'll just get one for Booria. Actually, I only need just two of those. Alright. We haven't done any grinding yet, so let's do a tiny bit of that. Give me one moment. Before we do that, it is time to stop our recording.